Hi guys, it's Matt again, and this is my strife, which pretty much looks like an olden strife, except it's signed underneath and there's a little spooky. And if you open up the batch tray, you'll find the next 260 with some very, very nice soldering, I must say. I wonder who did that. Hmm. And some excellent hair shrinking as well. Um, this is basically a sleeper. It's got a nice clicky knee mark switch. 18 AWG all the way through. All locks removed. I can pull the trigger without that or without having a mag in all possible yay did it I wouldn't have been able to do this without the help of Captain Xavier and the people at Foam Blast especially Adriana and Michelle um, for helping me out with this they helped me get the parts Captain Xavier helped me put them all together and get this thing running it hits like a truck it's been nicknamed guillotine due to the fact that it likes to rip the head off darts um, I'm only rocking a one uh, 1000 milliamp hour a one amp hour um, zippy compact 40 to 50 C uh, 40 C constant drift C burst with a pair of Michelle 2.0s, stock wheels, stock cage, and an extended mag release. That's about it. Rest of it is very neatly wired into a nice big on one micro switch that Tom at FDS will probably disapprove of because he thinks it's barbaric. But it worked for me. But that XT is perfect, fits perfectly up there with my LiPo in and I've got my balance lead coming out there but because I haven't installed a voltmeter or anything my balance leads pop out there I can quickly check it with my pocket LiPo cell checker easy no problem so I know when to change batteries but I will it, it's this this will always be a work in progress until it's reached what I think is the level of my level of perfection um, it's gonna have probably a new cage new wheels I'll stick with the same shells I'll stick with the same battery I'll stick with the same um, switch um, I'll probably put a body kit on it, an X Mate or a ubiquitous vector, probably more like an X Mate. Um, the little bit in there that's horrible that you can just feel if you jump your finger down, it's twisting around, it's all supposedly faux rifle. I'm going to replace it with some worker barrel material after I've drilled out there and cleaned it up a bit. Um, and then yeah, probably uh, a full kit on there. But this is my first electronic mod and would not have been made possible if it wasn't for the great help of, of uh, Captain Xavier, who was kind enough to send me wiring schematics on Facebook. Uh, he is a, truly a great guy and I can't say anything bad about him. He's wonderful. Same with the people at Bone Blast. If I had a problem, inquiry, anything like that, no problem. Bone Blast were on it. Michelle or Adriana were straight on there. And I couldn't ask for better customer support. They were fantastic. Um, Michelle herself recommended the batteries that she uses, the LiPo she uses in her own motors. So, who am I going to trust? The person.
person who designed the motors? Yeah. If you design the motors to run at this voltage, at this speed, at this torque, and you know what battery is the perfect one for it, then yeah. But yeah, you can see there's some goo coming out there. That's just lithium grease. So it doesn't sound all. Still sounds a bit clicky. That's nice and clicky. But that still sounds a little bit clicky, but I think that's just the return spring. Um, it will fire with the jam door open, because the jam door switch is gone. And as you can see inside, or probably not, but that is pretty neat wiring. Sorry, I have to go on that my solder is my solder is pretty good. But um everything else is poor. Um so yeah my soldering isn't that bad. Um heat shrinking is good. Um, I, Overall, my electronics are okay. It's just the um, confidence that I lack, I think. Either way, this is the guillotine. I expect to see it evolve over the next few months. Um, thank you for watching. I'll keep you updated. If you want to know any of my latest videos when they are uploaded, um, hit that like, subscribe and the bell icon and you'll be notified when you get a new update. But you have to admit, that looks pretty sweet. So yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, notify, and if you want to make some comments, do so down below. Also read more, and for my parts and um, what I used in the build, um, and yeah, look after each other, basically. Don't don't shoot people in the face with a modifying blaster. This is pulling around 120, 118. So, yeah. Um, don't shoot people in the face if you aren't expecting it like that. Well, they aren't wearing protection. Remember, always go for the legs. Always go for the legs. Um... Yeah, so there you go, hope to see you soon, like, comment, subscribe, that's been Guillotine, see you later.